Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Skirt 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 Skirts for the 7th of May. So today we've got Mercury making a conjunction to Chiron and the Sun making a set star to Saturn. So Mercury's conjunction to Chiron entered on the 5th of May, strongest today the 7th of May and leaves on the 9th of May. Mercury's in Pisces and Chiron's in the constellation of Pisces as well, so working together in synergy. And we've got the Sun's in Aries and Saturn's in Aquarius, so yeah. Mercury's conjunction to Chiron is when the agile and quick-witted Mercury aligns with the wounded healer Chiron. So because they're both in Pisces, magical things can happen. And positively speaking, and Mercury's just coming out of its post retrograde period, shadow period as well, because it's finished um, retrograding, I think it's, was it the 5th of May, something like that, but anyway, yeah, so positively Mercury's conjunction to Chiron allows for deep healing and gives us insight into our deepest wounds and helps us find a way to heal them. It's a time for empathy and opening up channels um, to healing and resolving things. Negatively, because Mercury's conjunction to Chiron can bring up old psychological, spiritual and emotional wounds, it can bring sort of like emotional discomfort uh, or trigger sensitive emotions in yourself and others. So you may find yourself overthinking and getting lost in the sea of emotions. Um, but if you approach this with grace, giving grace to yourself and compassion and empathy to yourself and others as well, you can come out stronger the other side. And I know it may bore you off other people <laughs> while you know about their problems to some of you but just try and be a bit empathetic and especially to yourself because a lot of the times on the healing journey as well we have to keep on going over stuff that we thought is has been healed and this is because healing is a circular journey it's not a straight line so it's like we learn something and then we get a chance to integrate it and then sometimes we have to go back and revisit and it can get tiring so if you're trapped in your sleep as we all can be when we commit to lifelong healing then you know just practice some self-care have some fun but also don't run away from dealing with the emotions that come up right now as well so yeah the sun sets down to saturn and brings a blend of confidence and stability and um when the sun is in aries and saturn's in aquarius we have the opportunity to channel our passions and ambitions into practical you know activities and this encourages us to take calculated risks set clear goals and work diligently towards achieving them the sun sets down to um, saturn allows us to become more accountable and determined allowing us to tap into our inner resources and manifest our intentions into reality and it kind of like gives us a grounding energy of today and allows us to establish a solid foundation for long-term success and it reminds us that discipline and perseverance are key to success in life and it allows us to focus on you know activities conversations that require patience and attention to detail and while we may feel the sense of duty and obligations towards our commitments which can lead to us feeling a bit bored because it's just like oh all we do is work 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 work. but this sense of feeling committed can also be beneficial for our overall well-being and help us make progress in our personal and professional life as well this energy of the sun and saturn meeting in a set style wants us to sort of like become more self-disciplined and self-controlled and follow through with our responsibilities and build trust in ourselves and in, in doing this we can gain the respect of not only ourselves but others it reminds us that success is not just about talent and luck but also about hard work and dedication pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone but also you know taking that time out to relax and have fun because if we do push ourselves too far it can lead to burnout and um, so it's essential to listen to our bodies and prioritize self-care it also wants us to reflect on our long-term goals so asking ourselves things like are we on the right path are our current actions aligned with future goals and just you know sort of like just being open to 
the change that we need to make and giving ourselves the pat on the back for the changes that we have made so yeah content creators can use this um, aspect of today to talk about emotional healing spiritual growth how we can understand our inner wounds and talking about their own personal battles with emotional psychological and spiritual health as well can help you know people who listen to you um, get over their problems talking about the importance of forgiveness and compassion and self-care and love and awareness and acceptance also talking about how we can make long-term goals how we can build more discipline and responsibility into our lives how we can overcome obstacles how we can set achievable targets how we can create positive habits in our life that contribute to our overall well-being and just how we can just learn to love ourselves no matter the weather and no matter what the astrology planets for us so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 7th of may